Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're at Cedars sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Pedro Caterino, who is the Director of Aortic Surgery. Dr. Caterino, it is great to see you and thanks so much for being with me today. My pleasure, thank you for having me, Adam. Yeah, so we're here at Cedars and we have this great opportunity with you to answer some patient questions. And this one came in from Kevin. And Kevin asks, I'm 65 years old, active, and in the waiting room for aortic stenosis. What is the latest information about TAVR explants? How should I think about TAVR explants when planning the lifetime management of my aortic valve disease? Okay, tough question. Um, so I'm going to give you a slightly complicated answer. So if you're thinking about TAVR explant, that means you've already got a TAVR, really your best option if the TAVR is failing is another TAVR, so inside that first TAVR. Sometimes that's not feasible for technical reasons, and so then you need open surgery to do the TAVR explant, which I think is Kevin's question. And having a TAVR in place greatly complicates the surgery because the TAVR has uh, become um, sort of impregnated in the aortic wall and, and removing the TAVR is quite tricky. So the risks of repeat surgery where there's a TAVR in place are higher than the risks of repeat surgery just when there's a previous surgical valve, maybe three to five times higher. So if I come back to Kevin who's waiting for potentially a TAVR or some intervention on his aortic stenosis, I would say at 65, I'd probably be looking to have a low-risk surgical aortic valve replacement with a tissue valve, which would see you through 15 years, so Kevin would be 80, and then at that point have a TAVR inside the surgical aortic valve, quite a straightforward procedure, and then that sees him through to 100 plus. Well, I've got to ask you, Dr. Katarina, the way that you just plan this out for Kevin in the lifetime management of his valve disease, is this what you do with most of your patients who come into your office? Yes, absolutely. Every patient needs to think about the lifetime management of their condition and what the implications are for a decision now on their life in 10, 15, 20 years time. And I think sometimes, you know, one wants to take the easy, immediate option, which the doctor may offer you, which, you know, transcatheter, no surgery, and that may deal with the situation now, but it may complicate things further down the line. So, so I you know, really um, say to patients, you must think about you know, your, your whole lifetime and whatever procedure you choose at the moment. Well, Kevin, I hope that helped you. I know it helped me and Dr. Caterino on behalf of all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world watching this, thank you for everything you and your team are doing here at Cedar sinai Thanks for being with me today. Thank you, Adam. It was a pleasure being with you. Hi, everybody. It's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.